Hi, Chris here for Tech and welcome to the channel where today we are going to have a first look of Arduino as well as run our first program for it. Without further ado, let's get started now. So this is the Arduino Uno and camera shaking. All right, so this is if you acquire, this is how it should look like. This is an original one, as you can see, even with the flux who hasn't been clean on the top right corner, but anyway. So here it's uh, uh, the front, the side, and so on and so forth. If you want more details, you can go online, you'll find plenty of it. But for uh, us, we will start by looking plus precisely at the digital uh, pins, right? Which is uh, PWM. Okay, so as you can see here, it's digital PWM, and you have the TIDAL uh, sign here, right? And this, if I turn the board, board around like so, uh, you can see here the TIDAL like the 11, 10, 9, 5, 3, and so on. Okay, here you have also the TX and RX transmitting and receiving. Right, and if I to turn the board now, you will ask about the other number without the title sign next to them. Basically, those are the pins who are not uh, pulse with modulation, which the PWM stands for. So now I turn the board around and we see the analog pins as well as the power pins. So let's dive into this. There will be a number from A0 to A5. Right, then you have the power here, and you have basically uh, either 3 volt, 5 volt here, and the ground with these two, or you have, if you want more uh, details, with the uh, V in and the uh, ground there. Alright, so just take note that sometimes on the Arduino, like here on the side, you have written what the pins are. This is very helpful, but as you can see in this one, Nothing is written. You can always put a sticker if you want to, or like me, learn the pinout. You can find it all over the net. Here is from the Arduino website. Now we go to the connection and uh, how we put the power with the power jack here and the type uh, B connector, USB type B connector, right? And here you have the reset button. Okay, so that's basically that's about all for that. Now we have the LED. So here you have the LED attached to pin 13 and with the resistor already. Here is the on one and basically with those two that the two one you have to monitor. Now the only thing that we have to do is to connect the Arduino to the computer via USB, right? Because we will do our first program. So you normally you have something that looks like that, which is the USB adapter type B. All right, this is how it looks like, and basically you just have to plug the bigger side to the Arduino, which is the connector, like so, if I can. <laughs> anyway, and this uh, to uh, any uh, USB, either from your computer or your laptop. So you go to your favorite website that you are using normally, then the address bar you type Arduino. Dot cc and press enter. Once this is done, it will direct you to the website here. And this is the Arduino website. As you can see, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of resources. So we go to software for us. We go to download. When this is done, here you can select language. I'm in Asia, so it will be in, in Chinese and English for me. Right? I go down and uh, you can see you can select different versions for me. I will select this one. You can, of course, contribute and download if you want to, right? Credit card or PayPal, this is up to you. I already done that, uh, but this is for you. Uh, and you can see it's very easy if you want to. So just download for me because I already contributed. If you have Microsoft 10, it will bring you Microsoft App Store here. So get, right? Yes, it's free, but of course, feel free to give them so I get the app here and install. Okay, just a moment, please. Of course, this one you are not forced to do it. As you can see, download it. If you want to sign it or it's your sign in, uh, it's not a problem. For me, I do not want. Uh, so I just let them do. Download the, the whole thing. So note that uh, once we download it, we will have to install it. 
and then after uh, I will cut so we are soon there so as you can see it's uh, only uh, 204 megabytes okay not a very big app and once it's done what you can do it's pin to start launch all right I will show you how to launch it all right once we are here we can close all the rest. I put this to the side, make it bigger for you. There we are. So now that we are ready to do our first sketch, we will do the simplest that there is, and this one is called Blink. This LED here comes attached to pin 13 here, alright? And what we will do is we'll make it on, off, on. That's all we have to do. So how do we do that? It's very simple. This is the void setup. This is where you define your parameter. Okay. And this is the loop, which means it's the things you want to repeat. Basically here, the parameter will be where is the pin. And the other one, the loop one, it's how often you want it to turn on and off. So let's get started with that. Let's put uh, this to full screen now because we understood what we want to do. There is a few ways to go around this. I will show you what is the best practice and then after it's up to you to do whatever you want. You can jump right away, write your code and whatnot. Best practice will be to save your file first, write what is it that you want to do. Uh, usually the, the default will be saved in uh, drive C, my document, Arduino, that's how it will be done, right? So you save this, you notice that the name has changed. Yeah? Then we need to put a comment because imagine you want to share your project or your code, uh, you will have to tell people what you intend to do or if uh, this file that you put on the internet is uh, free for them to use, uh, under uh, which uh, regulations and so on and so forth. You are not forced to do that, but it's a best practice. All right, we open the comment like so and with a star. You put a slash, you put asterisk and you notice how it changes and become part of the introduction until I go like so. I show you. Huh? So I need to go here. Right, you see the void setup has stopped and then this has been added. So you need to finish with a star and a slash. Then everything in here will be the comment, everything else is not. So if you want to comment something, you put a slash and a star and it becomes a comment. I'll remove this. So basically what we want to do here it's blink, right? Which is the name of the sketch. And what we want to do, this will basically turn on an LED connected to pin. Because for the time being, we don't connect anything to the Arduino. We will use the onboard LED, okay, pin 13. And you can put in bracket on board LED right so we want to turn this pin 13 on for let's say two seconds yeah. okay then turn the LED off for I don't know Two seconds again. Two seconds, all right? And this repeatedly. Okay. That's about it. If you want, you are not forced to leave everything like so. You can put like so. Hmm? And uh, that's about it. You can put your name uh, if you want to, but normally Blink it's the very basic, so you don't have to. Then what do we have to do? We have to set up the function to run. Uh, we press uh, the button here 
to load to the Arduino, provided the Arduino is connected to a power source and it have enough. All right. So it will run the program that you will download with this permanently. As you can see here, it's written upload. Sorry, not download. Okay. So I put two brackets and this is to set up uh, the functions and initialize the the on board LED. Okay, then just press enter and now we are ready. So this here, you can, if there is this, you can write before. How to initialize uh, the LED? So the LED, as you remember, was on the digital side, which means it will be set as a pin mode. Like so. Something is wrong here because I'll show you why. If you do like this, that's the correct one. This is kind of a bell checker and it will tell you if you recognize what we are telling the Arduino what the code will do. Now we assign the pin mode to pin 13 and then we need to tell something else. What will the pin 13 do? We will set it out as an output. We close the parenthesis and never ever forget because most of the time it's because of these little things that your code won't run. You must end with this. So don't forget that this has nothing to do with the code. Okay. So what we say, we set up the pin in or LED to output. So basically, that's all we do for this one. Now for the loop, and you will notice that this here and this here for the loop, you have one to start and one to finish, always. If I put like so and I try to send it to the Arduino, it will not work. So I put it back. So for the void loop, what should I do? A digital write. Those, basically, you have to learn them, but once you learn them, they doesn't change that much. Okay. So, we put the LED 13, we set it up to high. You notice how it changes? High means on, low means off, basically. As I say, never ever forget to put this. So, what we did here is we turn on and then we can copy like so control copy and here control V turn on the pin 13 or the LED okay we go to the end press enter then we say we want to turn it on for how long here we say for two seconds so the delay here one second it's 1000 milliseconds Right, so two seconds will be two thousands of them. And never ever forget to put this. It's best to try to be consistent. Set the delay to two seconds. Now what you can do is copy or type it again. So control copy. I go here, control D. So basically what we will do is we do another digital write to the pin 13. Okay, this is for the LED. And we set it to low this time. This will turn it off, like so. Okay, so turn off. Here it's on, would be better, like so. Right, then we set the delay for two milliseconds. So now we are ready with this and we can check as you can see, it writes verify if the code is correct or not. So I press here, it does these things, and it tells you basically how big uh, your sketch is, 
how much it takes on the Arduino and a few other things, but we won't uh, go inside it. Now, let's pop to the side window and see what's happened when I load this. So a few things will happen. Our camera, I uh, change this here. <laughs> you really annoyed me when I saw. I don't know how to spell correctly. Anyway, uh, let's start and then I press upload. Look at downstairs what will happen here. That's about it. Now if you look on the other side, you did notice that the transmission was blinking and but don't worry, I loop it. And now you can see our sketch. Here the LED blinks. Two seconds on, two seconds off. It's as simple as that. Don't forget to do your YouTube things, especially if you like this video. It's uh, as simple as pressing the, the thumb up button, of course. You can like this video, subscribe if you want to. May you want to be notified, you can press the bell icon. As soon as a new video will be out, you will be, as the button says, notified. However, if you do not like it, I would like, if it's possible for you, uh, to leave a comment and tell me why this video is not for you. Thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoy this video very much. Bye now guys and stay safe.